All right, so for my final project, I'm doing a Plex Media Server. Uh, it's very easy to set up. Uh, the reason I went with this one, other than other ones, is just because I already had the mobile app, so I might as well do this. Uh, it's available on Linux, Windows, and I believe also Mac. Uh, so the first step, you should just do sudo apt git update, just to keep your system up to date. So we'll let that go. All right, so the next thing we should do is sudo apt git upgrade to apply those. All right, so for the next step, we're gonna add a program that's called apt-transport-https. And the reason you wanna add this is if you don't, you will get an error because uh, it won't be able to download some of the stuff we gotta do. So we just gotta press enter. Alright, so for the next step, we got to do this command right here, wget dash o, or zero I mean, dash https colon slash slash dev today dot de forward slash pms forward slash dev today dash pms dot gpg dot key uh, pipe sudo apt git add dash. All right, and for the next command we gotta do is called echo parentheses deb space https colon forward slash forward slash dev today dot de forward slash pms forward slash space jesse space main in the parentheses pipe sudo t forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash sources dot list dot d forward slash pms dot list all right so the next thing we're going to do since we downloaded all that stuff is we want to update it so you just do sudo apt get update and then we'll just update all those things we just got all right so now we're actually going to download plex media server just now so the command to do that is sudo apt get install dash t jesse plex media server you just press enter on that and then we'll download it doesn't take up too much space and I already have it so it's just going to tell me that I already have the latest version all right so the next thing we got to do is to change the owner of Plex Media Server and the way we do that is sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash default forward slash Plex Media Server press enter now I already have it done but all you got to do is come down here and where it ends at the English sign you just uh, type in whatever user you want to do. And then that's how you change it to that owner. Pretty easy. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is restart the Plex Media Server. So we do that via sudo service Plex Media Server restart. You just press enter on it, and then it'll restart itself. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is optional. You don't have to do this, but we're going to give it a static IP just so you can remember it easier. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Uh, to do this, we're gonna do hostname dash capital I. So we just press enter on that. And then here's all your information right here. Uh, so we're gonna use 10.0.0.2.4. All right, and now, so we're gonna change the IP to static. We're gonna do sudo nano boot command line dot text. And then down here, you just add IP equals, and then whatever your IP is. Mine's 10.0.0.2.4. And then just exit out of there and save it. And then there you go. All right, so now that we have a static IP, we're going to want to restart the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to do sudo reboot, and then we'll let it reboot. All right, so now it's just check and make sure it's actually working. What we're going to do is type in our IP address, 32400 forward slash web, and then one more forward slash after that. Press enter. So far, it looks like it's going to work. There we go. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is add a library. Um, there's lots of different types you can add, uh, movies, TV, whatever you got. Uh, the only thing I have on here is a photo, so let's just use that. You can name it, have changed uh, 
a language to whatever you might want. So let's just browse for the folder. So we'll just go to the pictures folder. It's going to search. Add it. And then add library. So as you can see, there's our picture of a sloth. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I felt like this was a pretty simple media server setup. It wasn't too hard. Uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask me.